Hey, what's up guys? Camp Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. Today we're going over every single change that came with the brand new uh, 7.4 update. And oh my gosh, this is probably the biggest update uh, I've ever reported on. <laughs> it's, it's insane. So I've, uh, I've reviewed it uh, myself and we're going to go over in detail. This could be a long one. Stick around for the entire video. I promise it's worth it and you're going to want to know what's going on. If you're new to the channel, subscribe right now. Right now. Do it for me, man. Uh, touch that like button for me. And remember with the release 7.4, uh, anyone who has typed in a supporter creator uh, gets this free free wrap. So it doesn't have to be me, but type someone in there. If you do type my name in, let me know in the comment section or with a tweet. All right. Starting off here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's start with this right now. Everyone who completes 13 free overtime challenges by February 27th will receive the upcoming Season 8 Battle Pass for free. <laughs> if you don't have an outfit, now is your chance to get several for free. With the Battle Pass, you will receive two Season, out season 8 outfits instantly, and you can earn up to five more. Save your V-Bucks. This one's on us. So, um, yeah, I mean, I can't really explain it any better. You got uh, basically 13 days to complete 13, at least 13 overtime challenges, which are the new challenges past week 10, right? Week 11 and week 12, and, and you get a free battle pass for season eight. So I wanted to start with that because I feel like you need to know about that. On top of that, Gifting is back for a limited time starting now until February 22nd. Um, so, and for Valentine's Day, you can send the heart span glider to your special someone for free until Friday, February 15th at 7 p.m. Eastern. So, uh, you can also send a free glider to somebody um, at, uh, until the 15th. So, uh, it's like a Valentine's thing, right? Dude, come on. What's with all this free stuff? Fortnite's coming in hot. So, that those are just the first two things. And again, there are so many freaking changes. Again, if you're doing any gifting, support a creator called The Camp and Rusher. All right, I'll stop now. I'll stop. Let's start with this. Limited time mode. Catch. In this mode, all guns have been removed. The only weapons are grenades and other items that can be thrown or tossed. Get in there and throw the enemies back to the lobby. Uh, here's the available grenades and items. Smoke grenades, clingers, remote explosive, port of forts, impulse grenades, and shockwave nades. Dude, this is going to be a hilarious game mode. Uh, chest spawns and floor spawns set to 100. Can only get consumables out of chest floor and supply drops. Increase supply drops throughout the game. Faster circle times. Increase drop stat counts. And by the way, if you see me looking at my phone, I'm not trying to be rude, but on update nights, uh, I, I just keep checking. Uh, by the way, this is the first of three uh, fantastic videos coming out in the next 24 hours. I'll be going over all the brand new cosmetics, what you can expect to see in the item shop over the next next couple weeks um, in the video after this one. And then we'll be doing a secrets, talking about leaks, right? Earthquake event, all things leaks um, uh, or, or later today. So get ready for that. So on top of that, Team Rumble is there, and let's get into the weapon. So the infantry rifle is the new weapon. It's common, uncommon, and rare. Deals 41, 43, 45 damage to the body, and it's a two times headshot multiplier. Can be found from floor loot, chest, vending machines, uses medium ammo, okay. Fires quick moving projectiles without damage fall off. Ooh, okay. Um, so that's how this thing works. Again, I, I'm recording this video before um, I can play at all. So right now, I, I haven't had a chance to use or try out any of the gameplay changes, so I can't comment too much on it, uh, but I will give my opinions over this week. Improvements to the bush consumable. The bush got a buff, ladies and gentlemen. Now absorbs one instance of weapon damage before being removed from the owner. Fall damage will not remove the bush. Now translucent, translucent, sorry, for the bush wearer only in order to allow for better visibility of surroundings. So two very good changes. Uh, I don't know if the bush is now viable, but you don't take damage on that first shot. So uh, if, if you get sniped, doesn't doesn't count right which is which is huge right now you can sit there standing still as a bush and, and not have to worry about just getting instant tapped right away it's a very good chance so a big buff after what a year of people asking for it the bush buff hand cannon changes we've discussed this already in previous video uh it, it's slightly different for epic and legendary uh basically it does a lot less damage to uh structures 
rocket launcher. We've discussed these changes as well. I'll put them on your screen right now. Um, you can't get them out of chests, only supply drops, but you will find them one in one of every two supply drops, uh, it looks like. And the, uh, of course, the reload time uh, is, is uh, increased a lot. So a big RPG nerf. Uh, they'll be more scarce, but once you get them, they'll, they'll still be good. They'll just, you got to reload now. Unvaulted Klinger grenades, man. Klingers are back. And then the Cupid's crossbow, uh, limited time item. Uh, there's the info. We, we know about the crossbow. It, it comes back for, for events. Uh, I don't really... Do people like the crossbow? Let me know in the comment section. I never pick the thing up in, in, unless it's my first weapon. But they keep bringing it back. I mean, I'm not complaining, right? It's a fun little weapon. I, it's new stuff. I'm not going to complain. Uh, however, the vaulted, uh, the vaulted item this week are grenades. So clingers came back. Grenades are gone. Honestly, kind of a fan of this, man. I, clingers are a lot more useful, a lot more fun to use, uh, but they're not overpowered. Uh, especially after, they used to be overpowered, right? When you could stick them to a wall, shoot the wall out, and instantly blow them up. Uh, that doesn't happen anymore. Okay, that's just the weapons, ladies and gentlemen. Again, this is going to be a longer video today. Because gameplay-wise, oh my god. I, this is probably the happiest I have ever been, and here is why added pop-up cup settings to default playlist so there's a lot of changes to the default playlist and if you've never played a pop-up cup before you're going to want to pay attention because you're going to be caught by surprise when you go in and play some fortnite uh later today or whenever you do so uh they're they're releasing it as a, a test uh basically explaining why they're doing it but we we don't really care about that let's just see what they're doing um, you will now get 50 health or shield based on your health when the elimination occurs. So when you kill somebody, you now get 50 HP. You, uh, people drop materials on elimination, 50 of each type. There's a cap though on materials, 500, 500, 500. However, harvest rate is increased by 40%. And, um, uh, believe like I love this change, but if, if you've never played the pop-up cup, uh, the, the, it's just, all, you spend so much less time harvesting and so much more time fighting. It's, it's just a really fun time. So that, that's huge. Like, I, it's not really much to go over cause we kind of know how pop-up cut works. And if, and if you never played it, you've at least seen me play it in my videos. Uh, but that's the changes. Let me know after playing. What do you think about this? Um, remember the plane X4 Stormwing can no longer break through structures and large objects. Um, but small props will still be destroyed. So a huge nerf on the plane. Uh, zip line changes. We knew about most of these through previous videos. Um, you can now inter or you have to interact with it to engage. They grant fall damage immunity and now have an audio visualizer icon. So just great changes, dude. If they did this day one, uh, I would have been happy. But hey, they got around to it. I'm not complaining. Thank you, Epic. Final circle adjustments. This is a big one as well. Increase the travel distance by 48%. Uh, shrink time has been increased from 45 seconds to 75. So you got to travel a much further distance on that last circle, but the increase in time to travel is much greater as well. Should make for an even more, uh, for, for me, like just watching, right? Like I, final circles, you really don't get to that final circle too often in public matches, but watching this in competitive play, believe me, it's going to be fun, man. There's, it's going to be a lot harder for these people to move. Uh, but that just makes, I think it more, it makes it more fun for us to watch, uh, as viewers for, for the competitive scene. Uh, remember, you can now crouch while in edit mode. We discussed this already in a previous video. Uh, turbo building, reduce the initial timer for turbo build building from 0.15 to 0.05. You will notice this change. This is a, this is a big deal. That 0.1 second shaved off, uh, you'll notice it. It's, the, it's that first build you place down. So you're going to be able to, to, a big example for me is the, the classic strategy where you're above someone, you jump, you shotgun, you place your floor, right? That floor is going to place 0.1 seconds faster. Uh, you're less likely they're going to sneak a shot in, which, uh, which is fair, I think. Um, added the ability to swap the item in the currently selected slot with a new item by holding interact instead of tapping. Um, I don't really understand 
the point of this one? I was trying to think about it. Can someone enlighten me in the comments? I'll give you a heart so we can under like I know what it means. I just don't get the the point of it. It seems uh un it makes it longer to me, but I, I must be missing something. Floor traps will automatically build a floor piece for you if needed. You gotta have the resources. And uh other than that, it's just some adjustments. So let's let's keep moving on. Uh, because there's a there's even more here. This is the last big section, and that is on events. So the new tournament series, Share the Love series, solo and duo, is available now, February 14th until the 24th. Um, every day, players will complete across any of the four division tournaments. Open Prospect Contender Champion. Uh, I've went over this in a previous video. Um, it's top 1,000 players champion, top 3% contender, top 20% prospect. Open is everybody else. Um, if you earn enough points during any of the nightly sessions to get a pin, you automatically rank up to the next highest division. Very cool. Um, I actually did not get to play a full qualifier this weekend due to school. So we're going to be starting out in a lower division and hopefully ranking up this week. Uh, so stay tuned for that in the background of these videos. Share the Love series sprays will be granted based on the highest division achieved, including the Champion Division Finals, which is the round two of the Champion Division. You need to get a pin in the Champion Division. That's going to be extremely hard, believe me. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Now this one's very cool because uh, did you enjoy Trios like I did? Well, there's a new tournament. It's a Trios One Day Cup. It's available on February 17th, so this weekend, I believe. Um, and it's going from a fully open tournament to start with, uh, and then it's going to be an intense final round with the best trios at the end in a single day. Uh, the tournament takes place across three different rounds. Earn a pin during each round to advance. So they're doing that, that multi-round tournament that they've been talking about. Uh, and you can check out that the, the schedule in the events tab. I don't have it right now. Uh, and yes, we, we've talked about that. Multiple tournaments are now able to run, be running at the same time. That's something new. That's how the divisions are going to work. Uh, reduce the maximum matchmaking time for tournaments from five minutes to four minutes. Uh, so you're going to get into games faster, especially in those later point games. Um, increase the minimum amount of players for tournament matches from 80 to 90. So there's going to be more people per match. Streamer mode is, is, is back. You can use it during tournament play. This was upsetting a lot of people. So that's back. And finally, in-game leaderboards are now fully available in all regions for each tournament session. Whew. I told you, ladies and gentlemen, it's a big one, man. It's a big freaking update. I'm going to end the video right there. Uh, there is bug fixes, uh, some mobile changes, but we've went over a lot of it. Uh, I got a link down below for the patch notes. Uh, again, touch that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you, uh, well, one, if you just want to stay up to date on all things Fortnite. But I, I just think this is the best update they've they've done and I'm, I'm extremely excited uh I, I don't even they delayed it a couple days who cares now we know why this is just too big man uh other than that support a creator code the camp and rusher if, if you can and let me know if you do so i can say thank you take care talk soon i'll see you in a couple hours for another video bye